So if you look at this table, the values between zero and seven F, which is 127, get encoded in one byte. The values between 80 in hex and seven FFF get encoded in two bytes, where the first byte starts with 110 and the second byte starts with 10. So now that you can see how to read this table, let's look at a couple of examples of how Unicode characters get encoded into UTF-8. For our first example, let's look at how you would encode the value 3a into UTF-8. 3a in binary is 0111010. Because it is between 0 and 7f, it will be encoded in one byte that starts with a 0 and then has the encoding of the value for the rest of that byte. So the UTF-8 encoding of 3a is 3a. Now there's one really important thing to notice about this. 3a is the colon in ASCII. And you'll notice because they kept the same encoding in Unicode as they had in ASCII, so a 3a means colon in Unicode, and because they have used UTF-8 encoding, that 3a got encoded in one byte, just like it used to in ASCII. So UTF-8 and Unicode are backwards compatible to ASCII. Things encoded in ASCII look exactly the same when they are encoded in UTF-8 Unicode. 